How's it going? I'm just um, trying to get up. You're trying to get up? Trying to shake Solo out of your head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, it's fun stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I especially like uh, Lando's turn in the third act. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I don't see that. <laughs> yeah, no. I was talking to Tim on the phone yesterday, and I, to I told him about it. I told him that uh, I was trying to not, not give him a lot of spoilers, but I ended up... Uh, he told me to stop. He's like, stop dropping bombs, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't really, but, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty silly stuff, though. Did you, yeah. Did you see what SC Reviews was, uh, reporting? He was reporting that, uh, there's a Lord and Miller trailer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to find that. Some, yeah, somebody's gonna need to get that one out there. <laughs> yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the uh, it's very a very bizarre movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very twisted stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand uh, why that woman killed herself. Like, why wouldn't she at least have tried to to hide until? <laughs> <laughs> Until Woody Harrelson came back. It made no sense. <laughs> it, like, uh, it made no sense. Uh, they did, maybe they did it for the fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <I> think, <laughs> they think that's what the fans want. Yeah, that's the that's all these prequel movies that come out now. That's what they have to do to the characters. Is uh, They have to kill them to explain why they're not in the original trilogy. Yeah. And then, uh, it's and then knee jerking, but it's it's so pointless. But it was it was funny this time. Yeah, this time it was good because you know, like I said, Fanny Wilson or whatever her name is. I uh, I didn't want to see her throughout the movie, and I was it was not that she's that bad of an actor or, or that annoying, but I just didn't you know I didn't like her in Westworld, so find her to be a silly actor but i uh was happy that she was only in such a small amount of the movie and the way she went out too was was most satisfying <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was weird too because the first part of the film was like i was having a hard time with it with everything yeah yeah it's yeah. not weird, it is. It is very strange, very strange, uh, I just don't, I, I, I find it funny that, the, like, the way, the timeline that it should have been for these movies is, it should have, they should have done The Force Awakens, Rogue One, Solo, and then, and then destroyed the, destroyed the, the series with The Last Jedi. They shouldn't yeah. have, they shouldn't have released the, the episodic movies so close together. They don't seem to care. No. They don't need to care. They, they're they just putting it out. Kalen and Tim are going to go... Uh, Kalen's going to meet him in Windsor, and then they're going to... Tim, Tim said he's going to try to convince him to go see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what... <laughs> he's going to resist, isn't he? No, I don't think he will. I think he, he remember Caitlin liked the Last Jedi until <laughs> until uh until I got a hold of him. Yeah. This past I wonder, Christmas. I wonder what he liked about it. I don't know. It's confusing, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. I know what I liked about it. What's that? Um that, that it was um the subversion of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked about it was what I hate about it. Yeah, it's... it was the only thing good about it. I listened to more of that uh, that podcast with Ryan Johnson, and he's he's got a very skewed skewed version of what uh, a very skewed version of what of what he thinks people want and need. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he goes ahead and talks about, um, you know, he's got to, you know, we need to do this for, for the, for the series, you know, it would, it would be dishonoring it just to, to make another movie, but it, so we have to do this, we have to challenge the audience, but it's, you know, you can challenge the audience in a lot easier, you know, he still copied lots of aspects from Return of the Jedi and stuff like that, so I just don't, I don't know where this idea comes from, it's like, all, all he did was just turn every, everything, like every gotcha moment was just a, a Star Wars moment turned on its head. Yeah. And then, you know, has the gall to tell everybody that we don't get it because, you know, it's it's trying to challenge, but... Because you've been challenged and you can't handle it. Yeah, there's... The challenge is... There is no, uh, there is no challenge. No, the, the challenge was never issued. Yeah. I couldn't believe how little people were at the, at the theater for Solo as well. <laughs> yes. There were about... There were about 30 of us there. <laughs> All in <June. laughs> it was good though because then we were we were able to uh, we were able to to uh, just laugh and make fun of it because we weren't within earshot of anybody. Yeah, yeah, there was nobody around. But, um, yeah, that's, that's a good point. There wasn't really anybody to. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> to stop us, but yeah, it's uh, it's. It's just too bad. I, I, you know, I, I feel bad for everybody except for Crazy KK because it's, uh, you know, they, you can tell people they were working hard to do something different, but it's, it, it was too late, you know, like the, the box office numbers are already showing that, that people are done with it, you know, and as, uh, as Ethan said, uh, he compared the uh, the pansexual remark as the October surprise. Because <laughs> 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 it happened like a week before the movie came out. All these silly articles coming out. Yeah. But, I mean, what are you going to do, right? Yeah, I know. I guess there were a lot of articles, like a, big, a massive pile of articles coming out about the droid, too. Yeah. Except defending the, 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 the droid. defending the droid. The droid is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> the one part what what Ethan said too is um, was was bad was uh, the only part I that was really bad for me it was <laughs> it was beyond the bad was when when the droid displaced Han from the from the seat. I uh, yeah I can't even write. <laughs> I don't even remember that, <laughs> but I, <don't, laughs> I liked a lot when Chewie uh, flipped all the switches and uh, <laughs> yeah. earned his, yeah. his place, I guess. I guess another thing, too, that's really that's conflicting for me, why I can't just not like the movie, because, it's, again, it's not a great movie, but is the, uh, the <clears throat> fact that Chewie's in it in such a good form, too, like he's not... He Chewy is Chewy in it, and that's great, you know. Um, I, I am disappointed that they don't, you know, that we didn't get the uh, the Mala lumpy and itchy. Like I, I if I was making that movie, you know, Chewy's whole family would have been would have been in it in the same image as uh, as we saw in the holiday special. Uh huh. Yeah, I like the holiday special. <laughs> Especially, yeah, yeah. especially the coming edit, which I will be putting out very shortly. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's That's gonna good. take. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit more work, but it's gonna be worth it, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because everybody walk, you know, people dismiss the holiday special because of of all the variety show stuff. Which is a very good reason because you can't even watch you can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unwatchable. You can't. Everyone has to stop watching. Yeah, you can't watch it. So it's um. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I wanna I wanna get it to a point where um, where people can see it for what it is, and that's an official piece of Star Wars history. <clears throat> because you can't deny. People can say it's this and that, but I mean. I see Mark, I see Carrie, I see Harrison, you know? Yeah. 
And it, more importantly, I see Lumpy, <laughs> Itchy, and Mala doing their thing. But my goal with it is to um, is to have. Uh, well, there's no real goal. I guess it's just the you can't like fully cut out the uh, variety show stuff. So I'd like to um, keep like what I've done so far is just have like the first couple seconds of it. And then cut away as fast oh, yeah. as possible. Yeah. Because really, the the I mean, the fact that like what you get of Harrison Ford in that is unbelievable. Like he's in it more. Like Mark and Mark and Carrie are only in like a couple scenes, but Harrison Ford is is throughout the the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never watched the whole thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch it this holiday season. Yeah, I want to see it for sure. It's gonna fit right in with the new Star Wars. It fits. It fits in with. Uh, I find it to fit in quite well with um, with Solo too. <laughs> <laughs> it, really, it works well in conjunction with that movie. Yeah. But apparently, and this is something I've seen in another YouTube video that that Lucas originally had done a story treatment that I guess he was happy with. And then they changed, like he he had to go work on Empire, so you know just left it in this in this production company's hands to you know I guess CBS or whoever whoever put it on television, and they rewrote it and then rewrote it and then <laughs> incorporated a bunch of the variety show stuff and then that's what we get. What who wrote it? <laughs> I get you know actually one person I know who who had their paws on it was. Uh, Bruce Valanche you know who that is he was like the guy on Hollywood Squares the big fat guy who looked like a big puppy dog or something (laughs) he had (laughs) always had like big glasses and a big fat beard and always wore silly silly t-shirts and he's really extremely irritating yeah I hope he's gone now (laughs) but He must be gone. I think he's gone, yeah. 